this is Andrew from GameTestPlay.com, and today I'll be playing Bubble Bobble. Bubble Bobble was developed by Taito in 1986 and ported to several systems years later. It's now been released through Hamster's Arcade Archive series on the PS4. The object of the game is to trap the enemies with your bubbles and pop them. Once you destroy them all, you'll be transported to the next level. There's lots of different food and items you can pick up that act as points, or bonuses. The shoe makes you faster. The cane makes giant food appear. The umbrella warps you. The candy makes you shoot longer or faster. The potion makes a bonus game appear. The list goes on. There's also water, fire, and lightning bubbles that can turn enemies into high-value diamonds. The gameplay is magnificent. The controls in Bubble Bobble are what you would expect. It's fun to turn enemies into bubbles, and you really do have a sense that you're trying to pop them. There are sections of the game when it can appear that you're stuck, and this is bound to frustrate a few. Some levels, like level 72, you're expected to perform an advanced maneuver. Face as far away from the wall as you can while shooting and keep the jump button held to bounce up on your bubbles. The visuals and sound for this game are colorful and cheerful. The theme song is catchy, but not fatiguing. The characters are cute, and it's easy to distinguish the different enemies, bubbles, and items even when there's a lot on screen. The Arcade Archives emulation allows you to save states adjust game settings, and compete in three different online leaderboards. Did I mention this is one of the best two-player games of all time? Overall, Bubble Bobble is an A-list title, blemished only by minor design impediments. That's it for now. If you want more retro reviews, check out the website at GameTestPlay.com.